Hello, I'm going to just talk you through uh, what I think is really interesting about um, the Rolly Seaball. So, obviously, it's it's a musical instrument. It's digital, but unlike um, many digital instruments, it's extremely expressive. So, um, I can select a, a sound here. Um, let's do a, a search for um, the flute, for example. And um, so, you know, I can make a choice as to which note I play. But notice that it's not just about playing a key and getting a note, but also I have control over the um, quality of the sound and the, the volume of the sound by pressing harder or softer. So. In a sense, there's a, a simple selection of what note that I want to play. But then having made that selection, I have a, a vertical motion effectively to control the um, the volume of the sound and the quality of the sound. So I can start very soft. And as I press harder, it can be louder. And that allows me to, to do really um, powerful, expressive um, uh, music with this. But it's not just even about the choice of the note or uh, the volume of the note. I can also change the expression and, and do things like vibrato, which is such a fundamental thing that we do to extend a note and um, to make it really sing. Now, the vibrato motion is, is like a sort of lateral motion over the note. It's like a wobbling or a circular motion over the note. It's just sort of tickling it, really. And that's a different kind of movement from the, the, the vertical pushing in and, and coming up. So you've got these different kinds of um, motions that you use physically, um, which have a correlate in the sound that's produced. And actually, that... that um, Lateral motion can be used in all sorts of ways. So I can do little Cassandra like that. One other thing, I can change the quality of the sound so you can hear there's a sort of as I move the no note down. I get a sort of flutter tanging effect on the flute and different instruments do different different sounds. But basically. The issue of the multidimensionality of the movement of my finger on the keyboard, the fact that I, you know, I choose, I can push in, come out, I can move in a sort of circular way, I can move in and out. It's all part of the expressiveness of the instrument. And of course, all musical instruments, physical musical instruments do this. But um, this is digital. This is just bits. And the fact that you can have something digital, which is expressive in this sort of singing way, I think is is very interesting, very important. Um, and you, obviously you can try different instruments. I'm going to put a violin in here. Um, oh no, that's oh, well, that'll do. Um, so yeah, that's true.
um, again, that's a very, very um, expressive uh, way. So it's, it's this multidimensionality of the digital sound, which is breathing life into what we can do. Now, I think one of the big questions about everything that's digital at the moment, including things like AI, is whether they can really breathe with us in, in this kind of way. And uh, I think that's a, that's a huge question and, and really quite an important question for us to consider. Um, because not breathing is um, a bad idea. <laughs>